This is our review of the Toshiba AC100, the world's first true smart book. A device that has the form factor of a netbook, but uses the same parts that a typical Android smartphone has. The AC100 combines Nvidia's Tegra 2 chipset and Android 2.1, with specs and ports found on netbooks. A 10.1 inch 1024x600 display, 512MB of RAM, 16GB of flash storage, and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1 and a 1.3 megapixel webcam. Build quality is decent and on par with a typical netbook, with a matte chassis that's good at hiding fingerprints, and there's barely any flex on the keyboard. Unlike any other netbook to date, the AC1 is in a class all by itself with an incredibly thin and light frame that we haven't seen before. However, it still packs in a very comfortable keyboard and trackpad. On top of that, there are no moving parts, so it's completely silent and uh, ideal to the mobile environment. There's good battery life, although we're expecting a little more from the Tegra 2 platform. Battery life tops out at 6 hours, although under typical usage we got over 5 hours of usage. Performance is decent and web browsing only felt a little behind your typical netbook. There's 1080p video playback, which plays flawlessly even outputted to a 1080p resolution uh, display via the provided HDMI port on the side. Things we didn't like hardware wise were the glossy screen that's hard to see outdoors, a battery drain issue meaning that instant on functionality was pointless, and a lack of LAN and USB ports. There's only one USB port, and in our case we had it plugged in with a wireless mouse receiver most of the time. The software side of things is sadly very disappointing and ultimately makes this smart book unfit for the average consumer. It's got Android 2.1 on board, which isn't ready for the laptop form factor. We found so many things wrong with it. No flash support, poor keyboard and mouse support, poor high resolution support, a poor selection of apps and games, and the occasional crashing of the operating system. We found it impossible to do any work directly through the browser. For example, Google Docs and WordPress, among other GUI heavy apps, and sites that relied on Hover or Ajax for navigation were unusable. Fantastic hardware and we applaud Toshiba for having the guts to try something new. But the software side of things is just not ready yet. Hopefully later versions of Android will make this AC100 and further smartbooks usable eventually. But unless you want to tinker with Tegra 2 hardware, the Toshiba AC100 is something to avoid for now, at least until the Android 2.2 update comes along. Click the link in the description to read the full detailed review of this Toshiba AC100. This is Peter from Netbook News, thanks for watching.